filling up on movies now, we spit on Meet the Spartans. But there's lots to shout about in Horton Here's a Who. Hello! But first... Condensing five well-loved children's novels into one action-packed fantasy movie, the Spiderwick Chronicles follows the Grace family as they swap their New York life for a house full of fairies, goblins and ogres. Freddie Highmore adopts an American accent to play identical twins Jared and Simon. Do not dare to read this book. They discover an unseen world, basically, and, and it's all about, you know, their, their discovery of it. Um, Although in parallel, you know, there's there's the whole issues of divorce and 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 those sort of the family issues that the that they're going through at the same time. Why can't I see you? You don't see us now, you do, but only if we want you to. And not only did Freddie play two people, but he had a double to stand in for him when he couldn't be bothered to talk to his co-stars. Ah, you took a buck. I put a note right on the cover. Can't you read? For Freddie, we had like an an old another twin. Constantly, so like a double. So we'd always have someone there to kind of look at and act towards, but the goblins were like nothing. They were like tennis balls. I never want to see another tennis ball in my life. Anyone for tennis? The goblins are in fact the brainchild of director Mark Waters, who took creating the little fellas rather seriously. The circle is broken. The circle is broken. The circle is broken! Attack! <laughs> Let's imagine if they really existed in the world, like how would they walk and how would they talk and like would they be like part bat and part pig, you know, and like like which which kind of real human real world creatures would be kind of like amalgamating a blender to create this this hobgoblin. Hmm, bat pigs, eh? Give me the book. This is a wonderfully dark, cleverly crafted fantasy that will appeal to all the family. Now you believe me? <sighs> Comedy horror now in Brit Flick the Cottage. Strangers don't fare well in these parts. You make sure you lock your doors. <laughs> it's a tale of two brothers and a bungled kidnapping. What's going on, David? It's dark. I play uh, Peter, who is this um, rather um, uh, pernickety uh, brother of Andy Serkis. Can I hold the legs? You're encouraged to, to care about these two, you know, because of their relationship. Because I'm not part of that world that he's in. He's kind of quite an underworld and shady character. What the hell is this place? It gets more and progressively more fed up with his brother's inadequacy, really. Ah, see if the key's downstairs. Oh. 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 Drop her. Starring as Tracy the Kidnappy <laughs> is the tangoed ex brookie star Jennifer Ellison in her first film role since her movie debut in Phantom of the Opera. Far from the voice of an angel, potty mouth Tracy is the daughter of a crime boss, and she isn't going down without a fight. <laughs> Gets kind of crazy because, you know, you want it to look real. <laughs> However, you've got a stunt guy saying, you know, you can't go too close. <laughs> Reese was like, I still want to, I want to work, you know, I still want to keep my nose and stuff. So you wear, and especially when I'm, you know, kicking them in places that I shouldn't really be kicking them and stuff. You know, it's really kind of quite dangerous. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, all you've done is hurt me. All the roots of me must be an idiot. The Cottage is a humorous, low-budget bloodfest of giant ketchup bottle proportions. Catch it in cinemas now. 300 of Sparta's best warriors. Spartans! Sound familiar? I wanted 300. This seems like less. Move out! Are no match for the year's biggest movies. It's the latest spoofathon. Meet the Spartans. We're in a business that takes itself too seriously. Man boobs. And this is the kind of, you know, the kind of movie that sort of puts it more into uh, perspective. Hercules himself, Kevin Sorbo's fan club, includes beardy ex-eastender Sean Maguire. Kevin's a, a legend in his own lunchtime. And, uh... Yes? Well endowed. Maybe that should have been lunchbox then. Oh! Women are like, oh, wow, Kevin Sorbo. And guys are like... Going out with Kevin is a bit like going out with the travelling circus. People just stop and want to touch him. This is 
Sparta! And he's not the only one people want to touch. Lads Mag Staple calm the lecture plays a bit of a goer. That's okay. I take big black dudes. <laughs> She's very horny. And um she tries to pick up on every guy she sees. It seems like the guys are actually a little more a bit more naked than I am, which is it's kinda nice for a change. <laughs> Unfortunately, although Carmen seems happy enough, Meet the Spartans is a mass of bodily fluids and lame parody, with sadly no humour. Avoid it in cinemas from the 21st. Remember this day, boys, for today is the day you die! What? what? I mean they die. Today's the day they die. That's what I meant to say. <gasps> and the elephant struggle to protect a microscopic community from his neighbours who refuse to believe it exists in Horton Hears a Who. Hello? I don't exactly know how to tell you this, but you're living on a speck. It's the latest Dr. Zeus tale to have a big screen adaptation. And at the LA premiere, it was Madness and Mayhem, as Jim Carrey, the voice of Horton. And co-star Carol Burnett fought to be centre of attention. Typical actors. It's hysteria. I feel like... With just a few choice words, I could incite a riot right now. Arrested Development's Will Arnett wasn't just there to start a riot. He plays Vlad the Vulture in the movie. It was Thing of Beauty, really. My best work. Classic Vlad. <gasps> All right. Now, every kid loves a bedtime story, but now imagine your right, mum's boyfriend is Jim Carrey. I'm pretty good at telling a story, you know, reading a story. My mind is a wasteland. I'm not sure he's fully aware at, at, at uh, five years old that... Uh, He's actually being uh, read the Grinch by the Grinch, you know, but uh, but it's it's quite animated, and I do have a lot of fun doing that. Sticking who in front of everything doesn't make it hurt less. Just waste time. I don't want to go. And if you thought it was just a meaningless kids' animation, think again. Everyone has a voice. Everyone is important, and and everyone should be respected. Um, and, and treasure. Dr. LaRue, if uh, our world were, say, a tiny speck, <gasps> how would we know? Well, we'd have unexplicable <laughs> tremors, <laughs> dramatic changes in the weather, <laughs> and if we didn't achieve stability, <laughs> our world is headed for disaster. Oh, we're doomed. Well, that's cheery. We'll be back next week, assuming, of course, there is still a world. The Space Shuttle Pursuit launched from Mali. Get straight to the point with digital text on ITV. For the latest information fast, just press text.